Welcome back to Game Galaxy, and today I'm excited to share with you guys my newest toy, the GPD XD. This thing is a retro gamer's dream. So, what this is is essentially an Android tablet running Android 4.4.4, which I believe is Lollipop, with full game controls here. You got two analog sticks, your buttons there, your directional pad, and because it's running Android, it has access to the Google Play Store, and there's already great emulator apps on the Play Store. So, Today, I just wanted to give you a good look at this without going anything super technical. I think this thing has two gigs of RAM. Beyond that, I don't know the processor. I just know this thing is truly incredible because it can even play Dreamcast. I have not done much Dreamcast emulation before because it didn't really work for me, but I was able to play Shenmue on this thing. Now, granted, there are some graphical glitches when it comes to Shenmue, but the fact that it's playing Shenmue on this is just unbelievable or Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 play perfectly it just blows my mind that I could play something like Dreamcast on something like this and of course PlayStation 1 works beautifully on this using the ESPXE emulator and so I'm not gonna go on technical specs of like what everything is or how to set anything up I just want to give a, a close-up look and I'm gonna show you some games how it runs and how it plays and just less of me talking and more showing games uh, I bought this from a website called geekbind.com. I'll have a link in the description below. There's two models I believe you can get of this. There's the black 32 gigabyte version that has internal storage of 32 gigabytes. That's about $150. I am a sucker and I love red is my favorite color. And it, the red one has 64 gigabytes of internal memory. And that is closer to $200, like $180 but by shipping and tax, I ended up paying $209. Um, but it's just truly beautiful. And when I show you the close-up thing, uh, with close-up shots of the games, I'm gonna have to turn the camera's bright, or turn the screen brightness down, because I don't have a great camera, and I don't want it to blow out the lens. Um, but just know that this five-inch screen on here is absolutely beautiful. It's a fully uh, touch screen as well, which you unfortunately will have to use sometimes. I try not to touch it too much as you can move around the menus with the D-pad but when you go to Google Play you'll need to type up here and all that. Um, it does come with built-in emulators. You'll hear when I when we go to the close-ups they're garbage. Don't use them. It is Chinese bull crap. Don't use any of it. Get yourself some emulators and ROMs you know, off of the Play Store and do it that way. Take my word for it. The emulation that they put on here is just complete garbage. One very important thing too when deciding what model you want just know that this does have expandable storage via a micro SD card. So if you get the 32 gigabyte one, grab yourself a 32 gigabyte micro SD, now you have 64 gigabytes. So keep that in mind. So jumping into the quick look at the device itself, it has the same form factor as a Nintendo 3DS and I obviously got myself the red one because red is my favorite color. And you can see here on the back, it's probably a little bit thicker than a 3DS. Um, but on the back you got your L and R buttons and two of them actually so L1, R1, L2, L2, or R2. Right here is a headphone jack then there's a micro HDMI port here which is really cool because you can also plug this thing up to a television and use that as your display for it. Here is the charging point micro USB this is how you can also use an adapter to use an external USB controller if you want to. Uh, this device does not have Bluetooth, so to add any controllers, you'll have to use a USB one. And this is the micro SD card slot to expand your storage further. So if we open it up, it's very glossy here. You might see me a little bit <laughs> in the reflection there. I'll try to keep that off of there. Uh, here you have your two uh, analog sticks, the left and right. And when I first opened this up, the analog sticks feel very mushy. I do not own a 3DS, so I'm not sure how those are, but I was like, oh man, these are very mushy. But when I play a game, I don't notice it, and I don't have an issue with it. Now, these sticks, these analog sticks, don't click in, so there's no R3 or L3. They're actually these buttons right next to it, so this is R3 and L3. Uh, but you know what? I actually like that because I use these as my save and load states for emulators. So the right one I use to save and the left one I use to load. Here's your volume uh, buttons right here. Power button. Uh, this, is, this is a button that helps you map 
what buttons you want. I'm not quite sure how it works. I think it's better worked and more suited for Android apps. Uh, I think you can click it, it'll give you your buttons and you can drag them to the on-screen controls of like an Android app. It's, it's kind of weird. And that's just your Android button to give you a zoom out of what's going on. D-pad is pretty decent. I've had no problems with it really playing any of the retro games. I will say, uh, I don't know if it's just my model, the down sometimes gives a click uh, that can get up. Can you hear that? It's not consistent, but sometimes it'll get click or stuck. And it has a certain level of mush to it as well. So much that I don't think this is a great pad for playing fighting games or Street Fighter. I've never been good at the semicircle moves anyway, and I think this thing is too mushy for that kind of precision of an arcade stick anyhow. Um, but I, even though I've played Street Fighter on this a little bit, it's sometimes hard to pull off moves, especially because mine seems to stick sometimes in the bottom and pop. Uh, then we have start and select right here, a back button and a home button, and of course the GDP logo here. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We'll hold it like any kind of mobile phone here. And it will boot up and I'll try Hopefully we can get the screen to cooperate here. Now, this is great because you can control everything on here with the pad, except like a phone, you have to unlock it by actually touching the screen. This is a fully touch screen. So if you're like me and you want to keep, the, if you want to keep uh, fingerprints off, you know, I use it for everything else, but I do have to unlock that. Okay, now since we're booted up, I turned down the brightness so we're not gonna flare the screen. And uh, just so I'm not moving the device, like I told you, using a little micro USB to USB adapter, I plugged in a USB controller so I won't move the device. And that's how I'll be controlling everything. So when we start up here, it'll boot you into this and I'll show you Happy Chick. I'm not gonna waste any time talking about Happy Chick or this. I mean, basically what it is is Chinese garbage. It's something you can log into and start downloading games. You search Super Mario, you download it from a very shady site. I don't waste your time with any of these built-in emulators. They are complete garbage. The only thing that's good is it comes with a few pre-installed arcade games like Street Fighter Alpha 3. That runs pretty good and all that, but uh, besides that, the N64 one is pretty decent too, but there's Super Famicom. You can see I've gotten rid of everything. It was just complete garbage. What you're gonna wanna do is go onto the Google Play Store and buy yourself uh, some emulators. You know, it's worth the money to spend on good emulators. And I highly recommend the .emu emulators from Robert Brogula, Brogula? I don't know how to pronounce that guy's last name, but they're very, very good. Uh, the MD.emu, which is Mega Drive, is the best Sega Genesis Mega Drive emulator on the Android scene, in my opinion. And um, everybody always swears by SNES 9X, which was uh, ported by the same guy for Android, but on this device, it was kind of lagging, so I highly recommend picking up this one called John SNES. It's a very smooth uh, experience. And the reason I have all these other ones is because I've had them for years, and so they, they work well. ESPS XE is a fantastic PlayStation 1 emulator. And then of course this is TurboGrafx-16 or PC Engine, and Rycast is a little bit of Dreamcast. So I'm just gonna jump in. Let's jump into a Sega Genesis game real quick. Uh, I'm going to go to Streets of Rage 2 and pick up where I left off. Here, let's do it. Nice. Playing this through a camera screen is very interesting. <laughs> I'm going to turn it up pretty loud so you can hear it. So that's some Streets of Rage. And again, just in case this is looking like a dull screen, let me tell you that it is not dull at all. I've just turned down the brightness so that it doesn't flare out the camera. Now let's jump to Sonic Adventure, a Dreamcast game. One quick note I want to say for those of you looking to emulate Dreamcast on Android. Uh, to get your VMUs working, you need to actually boot into the Dreamcast BIOS. And let me show and format your memory card before it's going to work. So if you're wondering how you save, you just boot in here, go to file, and normally, you see how that one is 
crossed out. The other one will be crossed out. You'll just have to click on it and format it. And then you can have save files. Here you can see I got Soul Calibur, Shenmue, Sonic Adventure 2, all that stuff. I'm telling you, man, this blows my mind that Dreamcast is playing on this tiny little device. It's absolutely incredible. I'll show you a little bit of this. But most of the time it runs pretty smooth. That's pretty good. Let's see if I can do the ninja throw. Ah, oh, come on, it's hard on this controller. Oh, I'm gonna die trying. Ah, oh, it's been too long. It's been too long. There we go. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. So here's a little bit of Shenmue. If you've never played Shenmue before, I don't advise doing it on an emulator because there's a lot of graphical glitches that take you out of the experience. Uh, especially Ryo's eyes are always jacked up. And it, throughout the game, you have this uh, you know, journal that kind of takes notes on what you need to do or important information, and you can see it's not rendering the bottom half of the page. I have no idea. Maybe there's emulator settings that somebody knows how to do, uh, but I, to me, look, it just cuts off there, and that's no good. So, for someone like me who knows this game like the back of my hand, sure, I might play this on the pad just because it's mind-blowing that I can have Shenmue on this thing. But for new time players, uh, get yourself a Dreamcast and play it with, of course, an HDMI box and uh, sorry HDMI box I meant to say VGA box but use the VG uh, HDMI conversion which you can find out in one of my videos so but yeah Shenmue's rocking pretty well let's go talk to Fuxan over here Fukarusan they killed my father right in front of me I will have my revenge I need to do this for my father that driver was insane.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed that sample of the GPD XD. I have been playing this for, to death, and so far the battery life on this thing is absolutely exceptional. I've been playing it, you know, till 1 a.m. every night, losing sleep playing this thing because I absolutely love it. Now, I still think as an overall experience, you should also consider Retro Pi for your emulation using a Raspberry Pi. And if you want to know what that is or how to set it up, make sure to check out my videos explaining what Raspberry Pi is. And I have a full setup tutorial that lasts about 30 minutes you can check out as well. But you have to ask yourself, who, what do you really want? This is more of a novelty item for me that I'm just freaking out about. But if you're somebody who doesn't have you know, their access to their own TV or you live with your family and you just want a little bit of privacy, this thing is phenomenal and perfect to use with some headphones. And I just, I, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. And I've been playing this more than anything right now. So thank you so very much for watching, guys. Let me know if any of you have the GPD XD out there or any others. I heard rumors on the internet that, I'm not sure who makes this, maybe it's the Chinese uh, manufacturer Xiaomi, I'm not sure, don't quote me, but I heard rumors on the internet they're coming out with the GPD X2, and I'm excited if that's true because this thing's already powerful, and I can't wait if, uh, if they're gonna make something more powerful. GPD also, there's also a GPD Win, which runs a full version of Windows 10, and there's videos on the internet of people running Skyrim on a tablet like this. That one is a lot more expensive than the XD. I just wanted my retro gaming in the palm of my hand with ease. And let me tell you, it is with ease. So thank you very much. And let me know if there's any other tablets. This is my first time getting into the Android side of emulation. And I'm so happy there's all these vehicles to keep emulation. Because if you watch this channel, you know I love emulation. There's things like Nvidia Shield. Anyway, I'm just blabbing on and on. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.